Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 2, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're back, The Flash is back, this is our first trailer breakdown of the whole season for the new episodes, so I'm super excited to talk about it. Along with this, we got a bunch of photos for episode 2 that we need to break down, and if you haven't checked them out already, remember my Flash episode 1 premiere review dropped last night, we broke everything down, so please be sure to go onto the channel and go check that out. Also, just before this, a couple of hours earlier, we released our Superman Lowers episode 2 review slash breakdown where we talk about that major crazy cliffhanger where we see an alternate evil version of Superman so please be sure to go over there because we explain everything that is going on on that show so that is going to be the schedule from now on we're going to review the flash in the evening then we're going to review Superman and Lois in the afternoon the next day about 5 30 to 6 p.m uk time and then after that at around this time we do our trailer breakdown so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into this so the first shot in the trailer is this now if we go through like this trailer isn't the best quality as of right now because i don't believe the cw has actually put something out so the first shot shows cisco and he's holding nash's thing i'm pretty sure it's called a satchel and so it seems like he's doing this in remembrance of him because remember he wasn't there last episode when he died so i'm presuming for a chunk of this episode he's going to be sort of looking back at their relationship and basically coming to terms with what happened okay so let's move on to the next shot and this shot shows eva and she's in this warehouse she's facing off against killer frost we know cisco is in this scene because you can see there is just multiple shots like stacked right after each other so cisco is here Killer Frost is on the ground and just in the far background you can see Barry there in the flash suit. So they're all teaming up against Eva and they're going to try and stop her. And so remember Barry has his full speed back. That was Nash's sacrifice. It was to bring Barry back and to give him his speed force powers. Obviously powered by the artificial speed force which you can see in the next shot. So obviously this is the kind of generator that kick started the artificial speed force. And I guess it's like the kind of conduit for it. So, you know, the main power source essentially. And you've got Barry standing in front of it. And I'm not sure what specifically is happening in this moment. However, we move on to the next one. And we've got Cisco standing in front of him talking to Barry. And so, in this trailer, the narration says, and this comes from Barry, It feels like my heart is my enemy's greatest weapon. And in reply to that, Cisco says, It's not a weakness, it's what makes you human. So he's comforting him, obviously, over what is going to happen with Eva in this episode. I don't know the specifics. However, according to the synopsis, Barry does gain a new skill in this episode. And this skill is the power of speed thinking. And he'll use this new gift in order to save Iris to find a way to get in. And he's going to be thinking of ideas that he couldn't normally think about. And so he's thrilled with this new power. And Cisco is hesitant to trust it. And I think this is kind of what's going to happen somewhere around the scene however this bit is him actually consoling him rather than talking about the new power so let's move on to the next shot we've got barry right here with his new suit well you know the upgraded version of his suit and basically his cow is able to phase over him i don't know if this was like a complete new modification in the world of the flash or like has barry been doing this all this time where he just like runs really fast and we don't see him actually suiting up because you don't see him suiting up most of the time but if you remember like when he uses a flash ring and it comes out i don't think we've ever seen that phasing i think he just slips into the suit normally so i don't think it's just like a new addition for us the audience but i think it is a new addition to a suit that he's got over the past few weeks and you know it's like a new modification in order to try and retain his speed force energy obviously now it's going to be a bit different because he doesn't need that anymore and now it's just like a cool new feature in a suit and i really like how it looks with the cgi and the kind of lightning effect going round it looks very sleek it looks very smooth it kind of reminds me of like supergirl suit or like the iron man suit and like avengers infinity war or endgame so i'm a big fan of this okay so Let's move on to the next thing. We've got Iris and Barry. They're finally going to reunite, hopefully, in this episode. And so in this trailer, Barry's like, I know how to open a portal to the Mirrorverse. And then it cuts to the next shot, and it looks like this may be their portal to the Mirrorverse. Because in a past trailer, we saw Barry in this exact same room in the Cortex. 
and he comes flying out of a mirror or he gets like flung back so I'm guessing what they're looking at here is a mirror and with the return of Cisco who is returning in this episode which we'll get to in a minute he's gonna be helping Barry trying to get Iris back because that is like Barry's whole thing in this episode obviously he's gonna be trying to stop Eva but that kind of goes hand in hand with entering the mirrorverse because Eva is basically in control of it okay so yeah Cisco is back Caitlin's back in this episode super exciting because they are two of the main team flash members they weren't back last episode Cisco was in Atlantis Caitlin was missing for different reasons she was supposed to be gone for longer however due to the pandemic Daniel Panabaker was able to come back and and film early okay so let's move on to the next shot in this trailer we got Allegra and she says Iris sent a message we got this shot of Iris right here and so it seems like Iris has somehow figured out a way to send messages from the mirrorverse into mirrors or reflective surfaces in the real world so this was something that was teased at the end of last episode the premiere because Iris basically could do something very similar to what Eva can do and I think that's because Iris has been in there so long she's becoming used to it like she was typing backwards and everything so she's basically becoming used to how the mirrorverse works and she's able to tap into the different things that Eva can so that's definitely what's happening here in the trailer we got a warning sign as Barry tries to go into the portal so it says portal target warning basically you know there is a risk of death probably if he attempts to do this so now the most interesting thing of the trailer is this Barry is wearing the tachyon device now we haven't seen the tachyon device in a long time obviously it had a major part in the first few seasons that was one of the main reasons why he ever met Supergirl for the first time was because his tachyon device made him go so fast that he literally traveled across the multiverse and ended up stuck on earth 38 so why does Barry have the tachyon device in this shot and in the photo that is going to be playing on the screen right here well I'm not 100% sure however I do have a few theories so number one it's either he's using it to enter the portal now that would be likely like he would have to be so fast that he can phase through you know dimensions into the mirrorverse like I guess that's a possibility however this scene specifically right here is in fact in that same warehouse that we saw earlier with Eva and Killer Frost being flung across the room so is it there to stop Eva like is it there to boost his powers I think it is definitely there to boost his powers however could this have something to do with the artificial speed force is it freaking out does he need it to control the speed force I'm gonna say that's probably the most likely option and it's definitely gonna help him in his aid to stop Eva maybe it makes him a little bit faster I don't know if it's going to be operating the same way as before the tachyon device did operate as a boosting of speed before so I'm guessing it's gonna have a kind of similar deal in this episode as well so let's move on to the next shot we've got Barry right here I don't know where he specifically is probably somewhere in Star Labs and he looks kind of a bit shocked so he's seen something but I'm not 100% sure what it exactly is okay so let's move on to the final two shots of the trailer we got Eva right here Eva is facing off against what I suppose is Team Flash probably the Flash and you got Barry inside Star Labs in the Speed Lab and it seems like he's practicing his powers or maybe you know using the tachyon device for the first time in a long time so it seems like he's going to be practicing and getting used to being a full-on speedster again so that's it for the trailer however along with the trailer they released a bunch of photos now these photos are really interesting because it kind of expands on what we just talked about with the trailer so here we go let's break these down we got like a bunch of photos that we need to go through okay so the first photo we see Cisco and Barry inside Star Labs and Barry is wearing a device on his head and it looks like Cisco is monitoring his brain waves or something like that if you take a peep at his tablet it looks like a brain is there so in the synopsis it talks about Barry getting a new power the power of speed thinking basically he can use this gift in order to help himself try and understand how to save Iris the new power is basically enhanced speed thinking so he's gonna be thinking really fast he's gonna be able to use it and so Cisco is not thrilled about this new power because he's very hesitant to trust it and it seems like in this shot he is being very hesitant and he's kind of questioning like should we use this how reliable is it and yes so let's move on to the next photo this is inside the mirrorverse I know this for a fact because I remember some leaks a while ago actually right when they started filming they shot the scene outside in Vancouver and they had a bunch of graphics up and they were all reversed so what's happening here is you have Iris and you have Camilla inside the mirrorverse and it seems like they are reuniting for the first time 
Okay, so now we have a great look at Barry with the tachyon device inside this warehouse. This is just like another alternate version of what we saw in that trailer. So yeah, you can properly see he's here with the normal flash suit. The flash suit is still the same. Obviously, he's got the upgrade with the cow and it sort of phases over. And you've got him wearing the tachyon device. Just a really good photo. Okay, so we got Cisco right here. And it seems like there is an intruder in the speed lab because Cisco pulls out his gun. And it seems like in the same place, Barry is here and he is kind of hesitant. And this photo is amazing as well. It looks really good. Very nice light. And it seems like what is happening is Iris has returned and their experiment has been successful. So I'm not sure if they actually are successful, but it seems like it suggests that. But it's very likely that Iris gets out herself. And so, yeah, it looks like she's back and I'm really excited to have Iris back and I can't wait for her to interact. Obviously, this scene is going to be quite the shock. You can also see an alternate version of this photo, and you've got Camilla here as well. You can tell this is in the real world because it's not flipped over. And also in the background on the screen, you've got a graphic that shows the artificial speed force, and I'm pretty sure they don't have that in the Mirrorverse. So it does seem like the two of them are back and they've returned. So there's a chance that they broke out themselves. I'm really looking forward to the return of Iris because it's been a long time. Okay, so we got another photo of Caitlyn right here as Killer Frost and she's outside. It seems like she is confronting what is probably Eva. And then also you got another photo of Killer Frost with Cisco. So it's great to see them in a photo because they are both returning in this episode. Obviously two huge main cast members and main characters for the show. So yeah, that is the final photo. A lot of stuff that we had to break down. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to not miss any Flash videos. Remember, we're going to be making lots of bonus videos as we go throughout this week to do with what's happened in the premiere, what's going to happen in episode 2, any theories we've got. And if you guys have any theories, let me know in the comments down below. And if you missed any of my recent videos, go check them out. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.